Today we are going to clean and reshape a small table that's almost useful, but not quite. Before we start, let's understand the problem. We have a table where each third has values split across multiple quarter columns, and within those we track things like price and quantity. Select any cell inside the table and go to Data from Table Range. That opens the Power Query Editor. Our goal is to turn this into something flexible, where each column represents a quarter and metric pair. First of all, you will notice that third column contains blanks. That's a very common layout when data was copied from a report. We need to fill down so every row carries its category. Select the third column and use right click, fill down or transform and fill down. And now each row correctly shows its third. This ensures later transformations don't mix up apples with oranges, literally. Now we need to reshape. Right now our metrics are in separate rows, which makes it hard to calculate or combine anything. In order to get the desired layout of our report, we should normalize the data beforehand. Hold Ctrl and select the first two columns, thirds and quarters, then go to Transform, Unpivot, Columns, Unpivot Other Columns. You can use either right click or find it in the menu. This moves all the remaining columns into two fields. Attribute the original column name, like price or quantity, and value, the number itself. You've just turned your dataset from wide to long, and this normalized format is easier to sort, merge or summarize. Before we move on, let's add a bit of order. When you later pivot data back, Power Query uses the current order to decide how columns appear. If we sort now, we keep our final output predictable. Sort the attribute column ascending and then the quarters column ascending as well. That way, Q1 sales will always come before Q2 sales, not randomly shuffled. Now comes the clever part. We'll combine quarters and attributes into a single label. It's because when we pivot back later, we want one column per unique quarter matter combination. If we don't merge them, Power Query will treat quarter and matter as separate pivots and we'll get a messy nested table. So select both columns, quarters and attribute and click Transform Merge Columns. Pick a hyphen as the custom delete. And now each row looks like this. Time to reshape it back into a wide table, but this time with structure. Select the newly merged column and go to Transform Pivot Column. For Values column pick a value and for Aggregate Value function choose Sum. And that's it. Power Query creates new columns dynamically from those merged labels. Let's check the result. We started with scattered data and now we have a structured table where each metric and quota combination has its own clean column. And don't forget, the more likes the video gets, the more challenges I'll cover in future tutorials. See ya!